Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are watching me from, this is Smart Solo Farms. Salam alaikum habibi. Kifalep tamam. Okay, so today we are going to learn something quick. You know, whenever I come here, I share I share things with you guys. So today too, we are going to learn about ozitocin. I've seen a lot of people um commenting and talking about ozitocin. Many of the of the um audience also used to ask me more questions about ozitocin injection. So today I've taken it upon myself to I mean explain it further for you to learn something little about ozitocin today. So let's get into it. Okay, so ozitocin as you see as you can see on the screen is um it's a synthetic hormone that helps speed up delivery or in other words i can say it control bleeding after childbirth or after littering when it comes to rabbits okay okay first of all you need to know how to inject ozitocin which i will demonstrate in a video a video coming up okay i will demonstrate it how to inject it okay so whenever your rabbit litter for me after my rabbit has already littered like after five minutes ten minutes that's when i inject ozitocin so it can bring out all the blood inside you know whenever they litter they they, they are still like blood inside them so after i, I inject ozitocin all the blood will come out i always have problem with the pure breeds after they litter they, they will be bleeding so with this um, ozitocin injection they will bleed everything once and for all and they will be okay and wh whenever you want to purchase um, ozitocin also Please note, buy this one, okay? This one that I'm showing. This is for animals. And this one, this particular one is for human. There is other one, very small like this, but brown color. D these two, this one and the other brown one, are meant for like human use, not for animals. Even though when you inject your rabbit, it will work. It, worked, it works exactly as the, the other one. But this one have different implications, like very different how it reacts to the animal is very different from the other one I showed earlier. Okay, so this that you are seeing also is um, the, one, one of the works of ozitocin, okay? I intentionally did this because the doe, um, I don't know, somehow, some way the doe was infected and I needed the doe more than the, the kids, okay? So I wanted to treat the doe and um, the medication I had to give to the doe, it wouldn't be okay for it. She, it might not survive whilst it's pregnant so i first have to induce the pregnancy so i injected resitocin i induced and it was very painful like i i felt it because um it's first time it littered only two and this second time uh, it was pregnant again and when i injected resitocin um like seven seven kids so you see but it's okay let's get into resitocin itself Let's get into it um, while the video keeps playing. Okay, since I've already told you what happened, what really happened about this one. So, I always advise if your rabbit has, I mean, gotten pregnant for maybe four, uh, um, 40 days. You know, 30 days it has to, it has to litter and um, if it doesn't litter and it gets to 40, this is the do. It gets to 40 days. You just leave it alone, okay? Don't inject ozitocin. These are some of the things that might happen. Because um, ozitocin, on the other hand, helps to induce and, and also stre strengthens uterine contractions. So there is no need for you to inject ozitocin if it's, if it's not necessary. If it's not necessary, don't force yourself. Don't force yourself to inject ozitocin because it might have um, some other implications on your rabbits. Okay, let me get to my fourth point. It is also used to treat and prevent excessive bleeding. As I said earlier, um, for me, with my pure breeds, they always bleed. Even after birth, they, they bleed a lot. So, ozitocin helps me. And um, what, what, what works at my, my farm might not work for you. So, don't say, okay, it works for smart. So, you're also going to do the same thing. You need to know what you are doing. All these things are positive vibes, um, which is affiliated with ozitocin. Okay, so with all the above mentions, it means it will help you or it helps. It's something you should, I mean, have at your farm. But it depends. As I said, uh, this is the yellow one I was talking about. You see that yellow? That that's for human. I did that at this time. I wasn't having the other one, so I I I got this one because the animal was in pain. 
it removed its fear on the 40th day. 40th day of pregnancy. Instead of 30, it's 40. And how it was behaving, I felt... I saw and also felt it was it was like it wasn't okay. She it wasn't okay, so I went for the zitocin. I I will inject and I'll keep her in. So, uh, you as the video flows, you will see everything. So let me continue with the other points. There is this point that I don't even know whether to say it is a positive effect or negative effect, like boosting of breast milk. Uh, you know, after injecting ozitocin, even though it will induce the pregnancy okay the breast milk production is going to be massive so if you are somebody that normally wins your rabbit at four weeks or five weeks i i, I think you shouldn't go for this dosing. but if you if you know your your dog does not pr uh, produce more milk for it benish and due to that uh, the benish does not um grow well then you can i mean you can use oxytocin because the milk production is going to be massive like even after six weeks, after seven, eight, nine, ten weeks, it will still be producing massive milk. Okay, so even after you win the kids, you can still you can still take the mother in if you haven't. I mean, uh, if you haven't crossed it, you can still take it in um, into the winner's cage and they will they will suck small. Then you take the mother out. Don't leave the mother with them. So I injected this particular rabbit and. Um, it was like, oh my god. I was expecting 4 5 because it has littered before. It gave me 7 or so. So I was thinking this time around. But the, the, the tummy was very small. And this time I couldn't pal palpate it. Trust me, most of the times I palpate and I can even check. At 10 days old, I can palpate and count the number of kids it will litter. So you see, I injected it. So I will take it back to, the, to its cage. And one thing about Zitocin, the moment you inject, and it's like when you inject oxytocin now, okay, you just have to wait for like two, three minutes. The, the door, the door must litter. It's a must. It must litter. If it fails to litter, and the time keeps going, five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes, count all the bennies that will come out. Count, count them dead because no matter how you, it will die. The, the, like all of them will die. Okay, so this is it. You can see I injected and just after like one minute, it starts working. Okay, so this is how it is. And how it will it will work, the door might not even be be aware that the kids are coming. So the kids will just be coming in. Anywhere it is, even if you are still holding it, the, the kids will be coming. Okay, because um, then let's get into the into the side effect. Um, you're already in the side effect. You see, I injected those those in and after like one minute two minutes the kids like it started delivering okay it started littering okay this is good this dough that means my timing was okay i timed the dough very well i noticed this was the time the kids were coming there is this thing um whenever you you want to inject oxytocin these are one one of my previous you see whenever i want to inject oxytocin take the dough out Try palpating. Know that all the kids are down there ready to come. You know, sometimes your your dog might remove it first and yet might not be interested to, I mean, or might not be ready to litter because all the dogs are not assembled. Before a rabbit litter, the dogs, they might be, they have to be assembled first before it litter. That's why if they are not well assembled, that's why sometimes you check your nesting box and you see, oh, my, my dog littered maybe before. The time you close from work, you come in, the, the kids are six. You see, because they weren't assembled. So, when it happens like that, and you don't notice, and you just get into it, and you say, okay, well, my door, my door um, has removed its face, so you just want to inject it. Uh, it You might cry later, because, as I said, ozitocin is something else. If you inject it the wrong time, all the kids that will come out, will be dead like you get dead dead kids so you should time and check your dough very well before you inject oxytocin else you might not get a single a single benny they will all die before they will be born okay um the second thing is the dough you know the dough might also behave wow, abnormally nice 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 when you inject oxytocin One, because two, it doesn't know four, what five. is happening to it 
maybe they also think mm. like the animals know they think yeah uh, so to? maybe it might feel like mm. um the kids are not yet re yet ready to come Hello, but you after you, you check it after you color. injected those those in the kids oh. will start coming like they will all start coming out in it will feel some way if yeah, well, man, the I'm dough is the like box, let's see, okay, an experience do a dough that has maybe littered one two three times that will be okay it will be normal for for it but if it's a new dough uh, yeah, see, yeah, yeah, they might me. even stamp on, uh, stamp on the kids they will be roaming all over because they don't know what's even happening to them all these ones you are seeing a lot of them i, I got them through this was the same okay so um let me get to uh, the other point also which yeah, i'm tired which is um overproduction of breast milk I, I think i've explained this already okay so after you inject oxytocin after everything is successful after like two three days your dough will start producing enough milk like enough breast milk which i can say it can take care of like 10 kids enough breast milk morning evening you can you can take them out and check when you check then you understand they will produce enough breast milk so um even after six weeks when you wean your kids the dough will still be producing enough milk and there is no injection that will help her stop um or reduce the the production so all that you would have to do is just limit its feed and take it to the to the um to the young uh, the weaners sometimes for them to suck it out it doesn't have to stay in for for that long so you take your dough in they suck the breast milk out you bring it back gradually gradually um it will it will minimize it will go down and also do not forget that um after injecting oxytocin you know there are uh, two different ways of injecting oxytocin first you injecting after the dough itself has littered that one is different from you inducing you injecting to induce the pregnancy so when you inject to induce and you end up getting some live bennies okay um those bennies those bennies that you've gotten they might they might have um they might it's not it doesn't happen always but so sometimes they will have health conditions like paralysis maybe when they are like two months three months so i always say be careful with those two things if you don't if you've never tried it don't don't go there don't go near it if you've used it before you can pick the good point and i mean better yourself in how to use the the drug because it helps it's like the bible it helps the positive effect is okay the negative is some way so you need to be very careful with the um, oxytocin injection don't just say okay some people are using so you also want to use or maybe you want to boost uh, breast milk production so your bennies can be fine and nice neat no don't do that don't do that don't, don't don't kill your bennies because one thing about oxytocin is after you inject and after you've gotten your bennies everything after you've weaned later on you you would want to um breed the dough again that's where you you find your second problem because after you breed that dough you will wait and on the 30th day it will litter and when it's littering you observe the abnormality because it, it i don't know i don't know what else. the thing has already like passed but when it's yet ready to litter again the oxytocin um character will take place again it will be waiting for you to inject it it only take experience those those that have littered before those those they will litter with no issue but the those that have never um littered before the new new dose those ones it will be waiting since the first time you injected it before littering the second time too it might be feeling that um the kids are yet ready to come but it will still wait and if there is noise around like so the, that one day all your do all your bennies might, might die if there is noise around it will not even want to or try to litter at that time whilst the kids are ready and you know the moment they want to come and they do decide not to allow them to come they will die inside and later on maybe later night when you are when everywhere is quiet and you are not around it will just 
later or the dead bennies so that is it um that's it <laughs> that's it for the was it tossing? yeah having sleep all night okay kindly subscribe to our channel if you find our video educative kindly subscribe you can also share you you also click the notification bell so that anytime i post a video you can get it immediately okay thank you guys thank you for you know we started this video and i've not been consistent here but anytime i post a video i always see the i always see how you guys react to it thank you very much may god bless you and um i'll put my whatsapp number under the description so you can check the youtube description and you get my number for a free consultation just subscribe show me that you have subscribed and a free consultation for you okay you can ask me any question you want to ask in my on my whatsapp okay may god bless you for subscribing to the channel ma salama adios